50-year-old Marie Heiser lived in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1977. She had a husband named William and two children. Marie was a homemaker and a part-time employee at a former Ashbourne Country Club in Cheltenham, Pennsylvania. Her husband William was a member of the Philadelphia Police Department's Highway Patrol from the 1950s until the 1960s when he got a serious injury. One day in 1977, Marie's son William Jr. came home from boarding school to find that his mom was gone. William Sr. then told his two children that their mom had walked out on them. William Jr. found it strange that Marie's belongings were still in their home, but did not ask many questions as he was very young. In June of 1977, a teenager who was biking home in a wooded area in Townsend, Delaware, discovered human remains. Townsend is about 65 miles south of where Mary lived in Philadelphia. The remains could not be identified. The case went cold as fingerprints and dental records failed to turn up any matches. In 2008, investigators extracted a DNA profile from the remains. It was entered into a national DNA database, but no matches could be made. In 2017, investigators sent the sample to a Virginia company called Parabon Nanolabs. A forensic artist working for them used the DNA sample to create a sketch of the victim. Using genetic genealogy, Parabon Nanolabs were also able to create a family tree of the victim. In 2019, a police officer in Montgomery County, Maryland, Steven Smagoreski, took over the research and worked tirelessly to develop new leads on identity of the remains. In January of 2021, investigators were finally able to confirm that the remains belonged to Marie Heiser. Investigators called William Jr. to tell him that they found his mom's remains. This is what he had to say. It was a shock to us. You are never expecting a phone call like that. You think to yourself, well as horrible as the story is, there is some closure. Before we wondered where our mom was, now we are wondering what happened to her. So one door closes, another opens. William Jr. does not believe that his father had anything to do with his mother's disappearance. He would be the last person that would ever hurt anybody. He was a saint, took care of his family, never raised his voice or hands or argued or anything. William Sr. worked as a truck driver after he could not be a police officer anymore. He moved to Daytona Beach, Florida in the late 1970s. He passed away in 2006. Michael Eckert of the Newcastle County Police Department in Delaware said William Sr.'s explanation that Mary had left the family was one of the many questions they were investigating. Thirty-seven-year-old Erica Lloyd lived in Walnut Ridge, California. 2020 was a difficult year for her. She had lost her job due to the pandemic. Erica was struggling with the stress of losing her job and trying to homeschool her son. In June of 2020, Erica decided to get away for a bit by taking a trip to Joshua Tree National Park. She left her home on June 14. Erica stayed in contact with her family, but then abruptly all contact stopped on June 16. Erica would never be seen or heard from again. That same day, a California Highway Patrol found Erica's black Honda sedan abandoned on Highway 62. This is about 20 miles from Joshua Tree National Park. Investigators noted that the front and back windshields of the car were broken. The radio was also shattered and the airbag had been deployed. Erica's items were still inside of the vehicle, but Erica herself was nowhere to be found. It seemed to investigators that the damage to the car was consistent with an accident and it did not seem like anyone broke into the car. They were unable to find any evidence that a collision happened anywhere in the area, however. Investigators did not believe that Erica camped in any of the nearby campgrounds 
as her items were still inside of her car. No evidence that any campers had been in the area could be found. Erika's family members worried that she may have become disoriented after the possible car accident. Investigators tried to find any signs of Erika in the surrounding areas and they enlisted the help of a man named Doug Billings. Billings is an expert when it comes to the area's caves and mines. In 2014, he assisted when Erin Corwin disappeared from Joshua Tree National Park. Her body would later be found in an abandoned mine. In January of 2021, hikers in Wonder Valley found human remains near Danby Road and Amboy Road. It is just a few miles from where Erika's car had been found. Investigators were able to confirm that her remains have been identified as that of Erika Lloyd. What exactly happened to her is still unknown, but the investigation is still ongoing. Erika's brother, Colin Lloyd, had this to say on a Bring Erika Home Facebook page, after hearing that her remains were identified as that of Erika. It is with a heavy heart to announce that these remains have been identified by San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department as my sister Erika. There is no easy way for me to tell you all this and there's no easy way for any of us to receive it. My wish is that we can all lean in a little closer, hold each other up and remind each other more often that we are here for one another with open arms and endless love. It is what she would have wanted. It is the spirit of who she was. It is frustrating that these two cases are not fully solved, but there is reason to be grateful that the Lloyd family and the Heiser family can now at least have some sense of closure.